Hello everyone, have you ever wished that you could just click for the location points and get the points numbers automatically? Not only this but also get the coordinates table automatically? Your wish has come true. In this video I have brought a very wonderful list that can provide both point numbering and also the setup point table. Before we begin, if you're new here, I'm Vishnu, and I create practical AutoCAD tutorials to help you level up your drafting skills one step at a time. There are more useful tutorials on my channel and still more videos are on the way, so make sure don't miss any. And also I like to request you to share this video to others and support this channel. Now, let's dive in and make AutoCAD a little easier for you to master. Well, in this tutorial video, we are going to use a Lisp file which will very easily give the point numbers name where we click. And also it will create the table with the easting and northing coordinates serially with the point numbering. Well, if you are new for the term, Lisp. A Lisp file is a text file containing code written in the Lisp programming language. Lisp files are commonly used to store functions, macros, and other code structures that can be loaded and executed within a Lisp environment, such as in AutoCAD or other applications that support Lisp. So, in this process, you need to have a Lisp file first. Here we can see a Lisp file. I have named this file as CAD Magics, which is my YouTube channel name and in bracket we can see COOR, which stands for coordinate. This Lisp will activate the COOR command in AutoCAD which will help in creating or numbering the points where we click and also generate the coordinate table. I have also provided the download link for you from where you can easily download this Lisp file. Now, let's select this Lisp file and copy it with Ctrl plus C, open the AutoCAD file in which we are going to generate coordinate table. Now we have to paste our copied Lisp at the place where AutoCAD uses the space for loading Lisp application. For that, we can go and click at this tools option. We can see here load application. Click here. We are at the place where AutoCAD program Lisp files are located. Or, let's just close it for now. We can also access that location by command. We can just type upload or even easier, AP. And press enter. We are at the same place. From here we can load or unload any applications which are either AutoCAD default programs or any we have brought here. Let's right click somewhere here and paste. We have to provide administrative permissions for the changes we want to make, click continue and click yes. Then the Lisp file is pasted at this location. Till now we have just pasted our Lisp file here. To get our command to work on this file, we have to load it first. For this, we have to select our Lisp file and click on this load. And we can see here Cadmagic's COO or file successfully loaded. Now we can close this dialog box. Now we have a new command in our AutoCAD file, that is COOR. Now, let's say we have two buildings here, building A and building B, let's type COOR and press enter. We can see it's prompting us to enter first point. So we have to click at the first point for which we want to get coordinates. Let's click at this corner of this building A. Now it tells us to enter second point. Click for the second point. Let's click here. Now it is asking us to enter starting point number. This is for the point numbers. We can start from any number for numbering. For now let's start with 1. Type 1 and press enter. Now it says to enter upper left corner of table. For this we have to click at a point where our coordinate table's upper left corner will be fixed. Let's click somewhere here. We can see here a table is formed with columns for point numbers, easting, and northing coordinates. And also we can see point mark with point number P1 and P2 are formed at the points where we clicked for point numbering. Again, we can see here enter next point. Now we can go on clicking at the points where we need coordinates. And points numbering will continue with P3, P4 respectively. We have here point numbers up to P8. Let's check the table. We can see the table has been generated for the coordinates up to P8. When we have finished clicking for points, we can just press enter. We can see we have completed lots of tasks with very ease. Again for building B, let's give COO our command and press enter. Let's click at the first point and then second point. And for start point number, we can either start with P1 by typing 1 and pressing enter. 
Or we can continue from P9 by typing 9 and pressing Enter. Anyways new table will be formed. So for now I will just continue the numbering with P9. So let's type 9 and press Enter. For the table location I will just click below this table. Now we can see a new table starting with P9. Now we can go on clicking on remaining points. We can see the rows are being added at every clicks. After done, just type Enter. Now we can move this table and take it wherever we need. We can change their properties, shape, and size. They are just lines and texts. Didn't you find it very easy? We just need to type command COOR and go on following the instructions provided at the command bar and go on clicking and everything is produced automatically. And that's a wrap. You can simply click on the link shared below to download the Lisp file. And I still have hundreds of useful Lisp files at my backup. Since my channel is very new, do not hesitate to support by sharing, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. If you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or need more clarification, drop them in the comments below, I'd love to help. Thanks for watching, and happy drafting!